It's a UBS uh, report, the bank UBS, that came out about three days ago. And it said that Singapore's uh, actual quality of living relative to purchasing power is as bad as Russia. Now, Russia has a significant problems. And if after 51 years of progressing very strongly in relation to, uh, we talk about uh, uh, standard of uh, uh, living, and, uh, uh, in fact, our standard of living for uh, the average Singaporean is quite poor rather than quite uh, good after these years. And in the context of $200, million, uh, $200 billion dollars of uh, 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 reserves, uh, 300 billions of international dollars uh, uh, of our GDP. I think that doesn't really... Is the PAP working closely with businesses, with the community, with unions, with individuals that's made this place quite different from other places? And it's quite different from Russia, quite different from the places that the UBS report talks about us being equivalent to, because that's a report with many faults. There's plain data that everyone looks at, the World Bank, the IMF and everyone else looks at, shows that median incomes in Singapore, average incomes adjusted for inflation, are much higher than anywhere else in Asia apart from Japan, and by some measures higher than Japan. Lower end incomes and lower end quality of life, if you take housing and neighbourhood amenities into consideration, are far higher than anywhere else in Asia.